Good morning. Welcome to another webinar from the series for Med Families Parenting Tips. Today, we will discuss some tips to take care of children's mental health. Mental health affects the way people think, feel, and act. Taking care of our mental health is just as important as having a healthy body. As a parent, you play an important role in your child's mental health. You can promote good mental health by the things uh, you say and do and through the environment you create at home. You can also learn about the early signs of mental health problems and know where to go for help. How can I nurture my child's mental health, right? That's the big question for today. And I think that's why you're joining us. First of all, we have to help children build strong, caring relationships. Relationship building describes the process of establishing emotional connections with others, which are based on trust and intimacy starting from birth. Through the, re through the relationships, children discover who they are and learn to understand others. It is important for children and youth to have strong relationships with family and friends. So how can we nurture these type of relationships? Well, first of all, modeling them at home, Families are the first social labs for children where they can experience the positive impact of healthy relationships based in open communication and trust where feelings can be expressed without judgment. Allow for instruction and uninterrupted time with your child each day. Also, you can let your child know that you are interested in his or her activities. Show your children how to solve problems. Another tip is to help children and youth develop self-esteem so that they feel good about themselves. So how will we do this? First, show lots of love and acceptance. The most fundamental gifts we can give our children are acceptance, stability, and most importantly, love. Of course, parents love their children, right? But love is not, on, not only a noun, it is also a verb. Showing love to your child can at times be complicated. Listen to them attentively. Have fun together. Hug them more. Create special routines together. Include, include them in family decisions. These are some examples of how to achieve this goal. Another thing you can do is to praise them when they do well. Recognize their efforts as well as what they achieve. Praise nurtures your child's confidence and sense of self. By using praise, you're showing your child how to think and talk positively about themselves. You're also helping your child learn how to recognize when they do well and feel proud of themselves. Another thing you can do to help uh, develop self-esteem is to help them set realistic goals. Setting and achieving goals in, is an essential skill to succeed in life. Having specific targets for what we want to accomplish give us as, as humans hope and direction in life that can easily become uh, simply moving from one day to the next. As parents, one of our key missions in our parenting is to help teach our children life skills that will matter to them and helping kids learn to set and achieve goals is one of them. Another tip is listen and respect your children's feelings. It is okay uh, for children and youth to feel sad or angry. Encourage them to talk about how they feel. 
Keep communication and conversation flowing by asking questions and listening to your child. Mealtime can be uh, a great time for talking. Help your, help your child find someone to talk, uh, to, talk to if, if they don't feel comfortable talking to you, but try to not put them down for crying. Keep communication and conversation flowing by asking questions and listening to your child. Help, as I said before, help your child find someone to talk if they don't feel comfortable. Create a safe, positive home environment. Be aware of your child's media use, both the content and the amount of time spent on screens. This includes TV, movies, internet, and gaming devices. Be aware of who they might be interacting with on social media and online games. Be careful about discussing serious family issues such as finances, marital problems, or illness around your children. Children can worry about these things. Provide time for physical activity, play, and family activities. And be a role model by taking care of your own mental health. Talk about your feelings, make time for things you enjoy. These are powerful uh, models. Another tip is uh, to keep in mind that in difficult situations, we need to help children and youth solve problems. Teach your child how to relax when they feel upset. This could be by doing deep breathing, doing something calming, such as a quiet activity they enjoy, or taking some time alone or going for a walk. Talk about possible solutions or ideas to improve a situation and how to make it happen. Try not to take over the situation. Just listen and be there to, to, to improve, uh, to talk about possible solutions. So the big question is, are we fostering mental health? In our next webinar, Ms. Roxana will explain how common are mental health problems among children and youth and how do and how can we know if our children or youth has a mental health problem? So we invite you to watch that webinar. I would like to finish with this quote that says, mental health is not a destination, but a process. It is about how you drive, not where you're going. Thank you for watching us today. And we invite you to join us for our future webinars. See you soon.